Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi middle school math friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches and today we're working on how to compare and order integers. Let's see what we have here. First let's read the directions. Compare the numbers right less than or greater than. Remember these are our inequality symbols. So let's take a look at A here. Negative 8 blank 6. Well we know that 6 is on the right hand side of 0 and negative 8 is on the left hand side of 0 and 0 is less than 6 so therefore negative 8 is less than 6. Let's evaluate this here. We have B which is 1 blank negative 8. Well is 1 greater than negative 8? Yes because again negative 8 is less than 0 and 1 is greater than 0 so we have that greater than symbol here. C, negative 4 is on the left hand side, so it's less than 0, so therefore 0 is greater than, so we're going to draw this like this, see how that 0 is greater than negative 4. D, 3 blank negative 7, 3 is greater than 0 and negative 7 is less than 0. See how easy this is? So greater than and less than, 3 is greater than negative 7. Next, order the numbers from least to greatest. So least is what is the smaller of the numbers and greatest is which is the larger of the numbers. So let's take a look here for E. So we're looking at four, okay, that's large, that's smaller than four, and this is smaller than four, but which one is the smallest or the least? And that's gonna be negative seven, so negative seven, and then negative three, and then Four, because 4, again, is to the right of 0. First number I encounter when I'm going on that number line is be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. So this is going from least to greatest. Let's look here. So 3 is greater than 0, and negative 1 is less than 0. So that's going to be my least number here. So there's negative 1, 0, and then 3. See how we're doing this? Easy peasy. G, negative 5, negative 3, negative 9. Oh, so these are all less than 0, but if we start off at, if we're at 0 here, have all these marks here, and which one of these numbers do I hit first? So it'd be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, so that's my largest number. So negative 3, I'm going to put that out here, put a comma here. Okay, number 3, negative 4, negative 5. Oh, there we go. Negative 5 and negative 9. See how I reference back to the number line that makes it easy for me to count backwards and forwards along this number line and knowing that which side of zero these numbers are on. Next up, order the numbers from greatest to least. So now we're doing the opposite. I want to draw this number line here. Which ones is greatest, which is going to be going this way, and the least is going in the opposite direction. So this is least here. We have greatest. Well, this is to the left of zero, this is to the left of zero, this is to the right of zero, so that's going to be my greatest number. And then when I go backwards, negative 1 comes first, and then my least is negative 4. Let's look here at J, 5, 0, and 10. Oh, well, 0 is definitely the least, but what's the greatest? Well, 10 is greater than 5, so that's what we're going to start with, so 10. Next up is 5, and then 0. And let's look at K here, 14, negative 13, negative 14. Remember, we're doing greatest to least. So what's the greatest number? Well, 14 is. And then when we're counting backwards along the number line to find the least, I'm going to hit negative 13 before negative 14. So it's going to be negative 13 and negative 14. All right, that's it for today. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.